fighting in here about who should be the one to take the belt off Roman. Should it be Jay? Should it be Cody? And Joel, what are you thinking about that? I mean, is who, who, who's the better who choice? Fighting. We weren't fighting. Well, we we're, were discussing, yeah. having a gentleman discussion. Ah, we'll call it a fight. It sounds better. <laughs> it sounds better. All right. So y'all are just throwing down over who should beat Roman. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's it's like Twitter. Everyone's just fighting over nothing. Right, Everyone's right. fighting over something they can't control. Uh, for me, it's it's Cody's story. It it is, and again, I I know I just talked about the the external factors of challengers, but Jey Uso got his win. He got his his separation from the guy who was, for all intents and purposes, abusing him for the last three years. He has gotten that reward. Now he's going to walk into SummerSlam and potentially be a renewed man who who may not win but gets a lot of respect out of it. You could pull the trigger. You could absolutely have Jey Uso walk out as champion, but I don't think that they are in that position just yet to tell the story of what next. And I do think that Cody kind of, he said it during his promos leading up to WrestleMania 39 this year in LA. He said, you know, you'll be a, basically a king without a castle, a Roman without a reigns, and the bloodline's going to fall around you, and then I'm going to take the title. Well, we're in the process of doing that. And that's, again, for all the times that we go back and talk about other stories in other companies and, and talk about this thing happened on social media and this thing happened in a promo, we're going to be doing that with this storyline as well. And that's probably one of the better parts of, of this long arc of the bloodline. And very good point. 